Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, an interesting question that that is definitely something that I've always um, had an eye on. And as a tech guy, I did see several scenarios and several things that make me wonder of um, you know the reasons behind all of it, and. It's it has to do with the question that was here today. Um, you know, why do some people? I'm baffled that some people have blue screens or problems with their PCs, while I've been running a PC for 10, 12, 15 years without ever having a crash or a problem. And so it makes that person kind of surprised that why there are problems on some people when he doesn't. And this is a very very interesting issue. It's a complex one too because it has several different factors. And why does one user um, have perfectly running PCs for years without ever having problems? And yet, you'll see online, and I see it here, because this is a channel where a lot of people come to because sometimes they have problems. And they'll have blue screens constantly. They'll have all sorts of crashes, freezes, and you're wondering what's the difference, what's happening. So the first one is at the most basics. If your PC is pretty new, uh, it could be faulty hard hardware. You know, PCs are not all equal. Some PCs could have problems. It's not because it's new that it's perfect. It might have been tested for quality control, but you know, that's very limited. Quality control tests can actually be quite quick. Everything seems normal, but your PC is not normal. Something in the hardware fails from time to time. And if you haven't tested the PC while that part fails, you don't know that that PC has a flaw. And as a tech guy, um, a certain number of computers have hardware issues. Really, really uh, as simple as that. And it gets people saying, well, you know, it's Windows, that's why it crashes all the time, which is absolutely false. It's Windows, it crashes all the time. No, that is a uh, fake news that everybody's propagating. It's Windows, it's very stable, and it works great. Windows is extremely stable since about Windows XP and forward. Uh, crashes are something you shouldn't see. And even in Windows 11, a lot of people think, oh, well, you know, it's Windows 11. No, Windows 11 is as rock solid as Windows 10. I'm sorry, but it is. And, of course, when people have a crash, they immediately suspect always something else than their PC or their own use of the PC. And that's the second topic. Hardware faults do happen. It's not a big number, but there are some out there that have hardware faults, and there are some that it's a specific model. So for example, everybody that has a Lenovo A90-4600, well, that model, that line is flawed, and everybody has blue screens. It has to do with something mismatching in the hardware. So that could happen. Now, if that doesn't happen, if your PC's Hardware is fine. What's the second thing? Um, bad drivers. Manufacturers do issue bad drivers sometimes. Windows crashes. Ain't the fault of Windows. It's the fault that somebody somewhere messed up in their drivers and the programming. And it affects your computer, which crashes because of another company, a third-party company, um, having a bad driver on some of the devices. Uh, that is an extremely common occurrence, actually. And that can make a difference between if you upgrade your drivers, for example, your PC crashing, to you updated the drivers and it stopped crashing. The other way around could happen also. It happened to me several years ago when a bad uh, GPU or video driver would make my PC blue screen every time I'd watch a video. Once again, not Windows' fault. But uh, that manufacturer, which was an Intel GPU actually at the time, the Intel you know goofed up when they updated to a new 
driver and it made the PC crash. So it's a complex environment in there because, you know, PCs are not like Macs. Macs um, on Apple's side is the software and the hardware is made by the same company. It shouldn't crash because the company knows it's hardware. And so in PC world, we have billions of configurations, which does not happen. That does not happen on a Mac. So it's it's actually extraordinary that Windows actually works and is so rock solid with all of those uh, differences. Then uh, there's a big chunk of the categories of people trying, you know, they're trying to do something to help their PC and help it work better and so on. The idea behind it isn't bad, but the problem is too many people are installing too much crap, too many uh, software that are useless, too many things that should not be on a PC. You know, if you don't want to see this, one of the first things I say all the time is stop installing software you don't need, and there's no need for any software that is supposed to clean a registry. There's no such thing as cleaning a registry. Any software and anyone's telling you, oh, you got to clean the registry, doesn't know what he's talking about. You don't need to clean the registry. Yes, there are traces of software that are kept behind. It doesn't make your PC crash. It just stays there. It's dormant. It doesn't do anything. It's untrue that you have to clean the registry. Actually, people that do that are the ones that have the most problems most of the time. Uh, you don't need a C cleaner. You don't need things that uh, are, you know, optimizers. You don't need any of that. And there's, you know, so many people say, why don't you talk about all those optimizers and software to clean? And it's like, no, if you are installing all of that, I bet you you're the ones that are having tons of problems because you're doing things to the PC that should not be done. You do not touch the registry. Uh, and whatever these do anyways, it's so superficial that it's useless. Um, the other thing is there's no thing, there's no such thing as optimizers. Windows optimizes itself perfectly well. You don't need to, you know, people go and watch numbers like, you know, oh, the RAM used without knowledge, don't even know how much RAM should be used or not. And they say, oh, I'm, I'm using too much RAM. This program uses too much RAM. I should be using an optimizer. I should be doing that. No, you leave it alone. Is your PC running well and running fast enough? Leave it alone. It's as simple as that, because that's the other category. A lot of those are here on the channel. And they're like, well, you know, it's always crashing and it's always that. And I installed this and installed that. It's like, leave it alone. And no, you don't need a third party antivirus. A lot of people believe they do. If that was the case, the majority of people which do not have third party antivirus would be having virus all the time, which is not the case. Shows you that, no, you don't need that. Leave it alone. Leave it the way it is. It's fine. And if you're careful what you do, you don't click everything. Usually PCs are actually rock solid and work fine. So it's, it's very difficult because it all has to do with uh, a mindset, people thinking that they need this or that you know, software to clean and optimize and, and do this and do that. Um, it has to do with the, I don't know why, but it's crashing, which could be manufacturer hardware or a third party driver that's bad. But in a perfectly running PC, no hardware fault and no bad drivers and just the standard software you need to use your PC and that's it, doesn't crash. You shouldn't even be seeing a blue screen ever because it doesn't happen. It's as simple as that. I've got five PCs running here and I can tell you that I've not had blue screens in ages. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.